Oh my God, what have I done? Taking this whole thing apart, trying to figure out how I'm going to install the E3D Titan extruder. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to use this carriage. So I decided to design a new mount. Let me show you guys what I got here. You can see um, I got the BL Touch in there. This is the park cooling fan. I can't, uh, I couldn't put the park cooling fan in the original location because it would limit my travel. If you see where the nozzle lines up here, the original nozzle was somewhere in this area here. So it's in line in the, in the Y direction, but in, in the X direction, I had to uh, offset it off to the right. So that's why the park cooling fan needs to go on the front so the BL touch that's where it's that's where it's gonna sit uh, the heights I don't think it the height is right right now it's just kind of sitting there I still got to work on that this motor that you see in here is a full-size motor uh, there's gonna be a a pancake motor that comes in here and it's uh, probably about 10 millimeters shorter I, I think I'm getting that Saturday but I think uh, the length on it is somewhere around here, about 22 millimeters, and I think this is like 32 millimeters. I'm hoping it's even a little shorter than that. We'll see when I get it. You can see over here I have the little fan. This is actually this fan right here. It's that same fan. So we're, we're not using this, this little fan mount. Um, it's going... Instead, it's blowing air through this, through this mount. You can see that. See how it blows air right through there? So the E3D V6, the, the cooling part, is going to be going right through that mount. This is where the belts are going to mount. I got a few things to do yet I still gotta design a nozzle to go from here down to here and I have to uh, set up a mount this is gonna be kinda modular so that uh, somebody can print this out let's say if they wanna go with a Bowden setup there's gonna be a uh, this is flat right in here so you can actually make a mount that'll mount right to this flat part to mount the E3D V6. See that? So this, you could mount basically a regular, make this a Bowden setup if you wanted to. And then also the mount for the BL Touch is going to be modular. It's going to screw right to this. And also the mount for the fan is going to be screwed so, or somehow attached to this, uh, to this carriage. I haven't quite ironed that out yet. So that's, that's where I'm at with this project. I finally got my printer back together so I can print out a, uh, a sample of this. I still got a few things I want to do before I start printing and right now I don't have any ABS because I want to print this carriage out of ABS but I'll probably just print one out of PLA just to see how everything fits together just for a mock-up but I think this is gonna work out good if you guys have any suggestions as far as uh, mounting the BL touch and the fan goes if you have any experience with uh, Fusion 360 please leave a comment below uh, I'm I'd be curious to see what you guys have to say. I've only been playing with Fusion for a couple of weeks, so uh, everything I do with it is kind of a struggle, you know? I'd really like to get this done. 
I got about 30 hours into this. So anyway, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Subscribe. Share the video with your friends. If you belong to a uh, an ANET group, uh, particularly uh, ANET A6, share it over there too. Eventually, this is going to get posted to Thingiverse, I'm pretty sure, if I can get it finished up and working on my printer. Thanks for watching.